Sup, sup, sup. Guys, this is Baseball for FPC, and as you can see, I am playing the newly released Far Cry 3. Now, I've been eagerly awaiting for this game all year. This has probably been one of my most looked forward to games all year, and so really excited to play it, really excited to get my hands on this and to get some videos out for you guys. So, as is typical of my role playing game videos, I'm not doing a straight walkthrough. I'll be covering the highlights of some of the missions, some of the gameplay, just showing you guys off the game. Uh, letting you see some of the cool parts in it, and I hope you guys really enjoy the series. As I said, I've been really looking forward to this game. Uh, he, the guys here in the United States were finally getting it on December 4th. Everybody else got it on November 29th. I'm not sure what Ubisoft's problem is. They tend to have a, a beef with PC gamers, and now it seems that they have a beef with people in the United States. I'm not sure what the deal is or why they happen to release it five days later here. Uh, but Ubisoft royally screws up just about everything they do, and so not really surprised in that sense, just disappointed that everybody else has been playing it for five days while we here in the States haven't been. I'm not sure if it's that big of an issue to release a game at the same day all over the world, because it is the same game. It's not like there's any gameplay changes or anything that they have to change other than box art for the different countries, and so not sure what the problem is, but that's just me and my beef with uh, Ubisoft because they're just a horrible company in general. However, they do manage to produce quality games, and so that is why I keep coming back to them, and so I digress from that point. Really been looking forward to this game, as I mentioned, it's a beautiful looking game. If you've seen any pictures, any gameplay, this game looks stunning. And so, really excited for how the game looks, but I'm also excited for the story itself and the gameplay really, because I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the first two Far Cries. Uh, Far Cry 1 was set on an island as well and you basically went in and they were like cloning or they were creating these weird creatures that were going to be used as weapons, something I don't remember exactly what the story was in the first Far Cry. I did play it as well as the second one, but the first one was set on an island much like the third one. The second one Far Cry 2 strayed away from the island location and took you to Africa, a war-torn African country where you played as a gun for hire and you basically sold yourself out to the highest bidder, you carried out contract, you, contracts, you killed people, and your entire mission was to kill um, one guy, I forget his name, and he basically started the war there and uh, he set up all the weapons, he was smuggling weapons in, your job was to kill him. So Far Cry 2 had a great story set up, it had great graphics, except that it was just horribly executed. The gameplay was stale, it was boring, it was really repetitive, you basically did the same thing the entire game, and after 20 hours of doing the exact same thing over and over and over again, it gets really boring, really monotonous, and so Far Cry 2 wasn't that great of a game because of how repetitive it was. It's too bad because it had everything else except for the gameplay down perfectly. And so if they just could have executed the gameplay a little bit better, that would have been an amazing game. So I believe the people have finally, the, the developers have actually learned from their mistakes from Far Cry 2 and they're changing it up a bit in Far Cry 3. We're finally going back to the Island Paradise location and you play as Jason Brody, who's a, he and his friends are on vacation there and they get caught by Vaz, who is the main villain in this game. And so you as Jason Brody are trying to free your friends and escape the island without killing, or without dying, and without slipping into insanity. And so, really cool story setup, the gameplay that I've seen looks awesome, it finally looks like they changed it up a bit so you won't be doing the same thing the entire game, and uh, it looks really cool some of the features that they have. One of the more annoying issues that they had in Far Cry 2 was the fact that you could clear out an outpost, you could drive maybe a hundred feet away, turn around and all the enemies would have spawned already back at the checkpoint that you just cleared. And so that was one of the really annoying game features because you obviously spend a good 10 minutes clearing out an outpost, you drive away, realize you were going the wrong way, then you turn back and you'd have to go and clear out the outpost again. Really annoying. It seems like they've finally gotten around to fixing things like that in Far Cry 3 by having you fully capture command posts or outposts and then I guess they can't be taken over, or they you have to fight, you have to like defend them from being taken over again. Whatever the case, it seems like they're changing some things up, they're fixing some things that were more annoying in Far Cry 2. So really appreciate the devs who are actually taking the time to fix what went wrong in Far Cry 2. 
So, uh, so excited for this game, so stoked to actually get my hands on this and play it, and so I hope you guys will enjoy this series because, uh, yeah, it looks amazing, and all the reviews that I've seen have said that it's amazing, and so it's getting a lot of 10 fr 10s from reviewers, it's getting a lot of 9s, everybody is loving it, so that set it up perfectly for being an epic game, definitely game of the year contender. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction video, and stay tuned for the videos that are to come. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, later.